<laughs> Hi. Hi. Everyone, thanks for watching In The Loop Travel. We are sailing on Viking Sky, and I want to show you our cabin. We are in 4015, and it is a penthouse veranda. Let's check it out. Hey, look at this. I mean, this has got a living room. The biggest thing I've noticed about this cabin, it has made such an efficient use, and it's got a lot of space. There's only 930 passengers on this ship, and every one of them get a balcony in their cabins. Um, so there's so much to show. It's very comfortable in here, and I wanted to start by showing you the closet space and all the storage you'll have. And then I'll work our way around, and I'll try to remember all the features it has, because there's a lot of cool stuff. Cabins, uh, storage. Wardrobes are just as you would expect on most with nice sliders. A lot of space here. And in your closet, they leave you this little handy bucket. You wonder what that's for? Well, it's for the shoe shining service. You just drop them in, leave them out, and when they're done, they bring them right back, all shiny and little bags for you. Oh, look at that. You can see my face in them. And you get a coffee maker. Some shelving. There's a safe in here. Three drawers. Over here you have a dresser with more drawers. The TV uh, offers movies on demand, TV shows on demand, and a small range of live TV um, channels. Um, some more cubbies down here. They give you water. You can get uh, flat or sparkling water in your cabin. And over here you have another workspace, a desk if you will. Um, a little vanity and uh, sort of makeup area. Down here in this cabinet there's two more drawers. Uh, here they store and power up your quiet Vox. These are audio listening devices for all the touring that you go on. And on these cruises, uh, there's an included tour in each port you go to. You can pay for optional ones if there's a different variety you want, but they will include one in each port, and then you use these to listen to your tour guides. Uh, the power outlets include European and American plugs. Uh, over here is your mini bar, which will be stocked with options if you get the Silver Spirits package. Um, talk about the Silver Spirits package real quick. For just about 20 bucks a day per person, you can drink all you want um, on items that cost up to $15 each per drink. So that seems like a really good deal. Um, so we have that stocked up. We've leaned more toward the beers and Diet Cokes that we like. Over here is a big living space. Um, couch. We normally see a couch in these types of areas which are generally a little smaller. This also is, can include a chair. Um, this is a little coffee table but it's soft padded and you could actually sit on it as well. <clears throat> Your nightstands. Um, and look at this. This has USB cable charging outlets, again in the uh, Euro US plugs, but these two different USBs, one's a high power thing. It'll charge your devices very quickly. Another feature above the bed, a little nightlight for reading. You can change the direction that you want it to be in. That's pretty slick. All right, now it's time to take a look at the balcony. Um, here's the view you get through a large window. It has a darkening shade on a normal curtain. And you can see outside. We are in Sicily today at the Port Trapani. And here's how you get to your balcony through the door.
Got room for a couple wicker chairs and a table. So pretty basic, but spacious enough. Another thing that they do in this room is to help you avoid clutter that you get with a lot of paperwork in your daily plans and your excursion tickets and things like that, is they will use this organization tray, plop it on your bed each night after they do their turndown service, and you come in and you've got all your documents. You can keep them piled up in there in some sort of order throughout your cruise. And most people end up just putting them back here on the coffee table during the day. And finally, let's take a look at the bathroom. Hooks on the door, a nice space, a basin, square shaped basin. Easy to use and get your face in there, which I've had trouble with some smaller sinks where it's just splashes everywhere. This seems like it's pretty good design. The uh, drawers to store stuff in the drawers throughout the cabin. Got a uh, sort of an easy close where they don't slam. Um, the mirror does not fog up. I don't know how that technology works, but it's amazing when you come out and there's nothing on your mirror. They give you uh, some containers here for your tooth brushing activities. Organization there. Products are Freesia. These bottles are actually a nice size bigger bottle than you might see that you get on normal cruise lines. The shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and lotion. And toilet, of course. This is a grab bar in case you're doing your business standing up and the ship's moving and you want to be a little more steady. That's kind of cool. Well thought out. And the best part is the giant glass shower with plenty of space. It seals really well too. Come around. Um, so you gotta put a leg up. Ladies can do their leg shaving. Just put your items there so they're not falling off of everything. They have a laundry line and an adjustable shower head panel. Um, easy to read how you turn it on and adjusting the temperatures. And I am six foot four. It's plenty of light, plenty of space, so I can get plenty clean. Oh, and there's one last little item to show you. The floors in the bathroom, they're heated. Wow! All right, so that's it. It is cabin number 4015 on Viking Sky. If you like this video and want to see more cabin tours, make sure you hit the thumbs up and please subscribe. And otherwise, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.